everyone. Welcome to the Burnt Breast Homestead channel. I shopped at Aldi's for the first time. The parking lot was packed when we got there. The prices seemed very reasonable. I guess that's why people shop there. It reminds me of a couple other discount stores we visit here and there. This is the kombucha. And here it's $2.89, but at Giant, Whole Foods, and Wegmans, kombucha is over $3.70. And here I'm just looking around at their prepackaged cold goods in the refrigerator section. Here's the meat section. Looking at the prices for organic chicken, the chicken is uh, by the pound cheaper here than at Wegmans or Whole Foods. So just browsing through the chicken section, it looks fully packed. Uh, so not really any gaps in the meat area. There were some complaints of shortages with ketchup in some areas, but not here. And the same with the vinegar. As you can see, the vinegar is fully stocked. And this is the toilet paper section. And as you can see, there is a lot of toilet paper. Here we have the canned goods, uh, some cream of chicken soup and some other soups. No issues there. Even got some ramen and some chicken broth and other canned goods. So everything looks good except for this little gap here in the left bottom corner here. So what is that? It's pasta. There is definitely a pot pasta shortage and not just here. So there has been a pasta shortage at Whole Foods, Wegmans, Giant, everywhere I go, uh, there has been a pasta shortage. So, you know, if you see some pasta, grab it, um, grab a couple extra packs, put it away because um, that does seem to be an issue. The milk section seems pretty full, as well as the eggs. Uh, they just have to pull a couple pallets forward um, for the whole milk, it looks like. But other than that, it looks good. So the Gatorade section looks a little light, and uh, as do the water. Um, I'm not familiar with this Vi or V um, product, but where's the water? They're a little short on water here, so... That may be of uh, a little bit of concern. Oh, here's the water right here in this man's cart. I don't know how many packs he have there, but I am not a fan of buying bottled water. I think it's a billion dollar scam. I prefer investing in small or large reusable water totes. It is cheaper to buy a water filter to filter water from your own spigot. I mean, that's pretty much what most of these water bottling companies do anyway. Here's the frozen food section, and there were indeed gaps um, in this area. So, um, prepackaged frozen food, that may be of concern if you, you know, purchase those type of items. I didn't really capture it, but the pizza section seemed okay. Is it common for all these to only have one human cashier? All of the others were self-checkouts. Well, that concludes my Aldi shopping experience. Please like, share, and subscribe to help this small channel to grow.